Hey, what is up guys? Trex here, and welcome back to another episode of Terraria 1.3 The Chase of View. Something different about this episode is that I'm going to be recording my audio with Audacity, which is something I've never done before, and hopefully that will allow me to remove any background noise or distractions and the uh, buzzing of my fans so that... A, you guys don't have to listen to annoying fan buzzing, and B, I don't have to sit in a hot room. I can have my fan on, and the video, it, it should be completely silent uh, through Audacity. So, yeah, um, this episode, what we are going to do is, oh, well, 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 wait a second now. Wait just a second. There's something I got between last episode and this one. I haven't done much beside that, but... We I'm going to just looking at that real quick. The thing that I got was something that we are in dire need of, and it's right in my more stuff chest. Guess three, two, one. Shadow greaves. Oh yeah, and the uh, plant fiber cordage. Um, so that's an accessory. But shadow greaves. We have full ancient shadow armor that gives us 22 defense compared to 17. That is great. And, 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 gives us plus 15% movement speed, as I said, bonus. Oh, and then this thing, fiber cordage, um, it allows me to collect ropes from, uh, vine ropes from vines. So, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to the rope farm. Yes, this is no longer the dope farm, but the rope farm. We have no need to grow our dope or trees, as the common folk call it. But instead, we can use it to farm rope, because it's a large empty space, and it grows vines at the ceiling. It'd probably be more efficient to use this cave up here with all these vines, but the cops are probably out to get me and are probably shooting my family right now or something. Anyways, let's equip the plant fiber cordage and look at that. We have vine rope. So all we have to do is equip this and we uh, find some vines. We can get as much rope as we want. We don't need to carry that rope around with us anymore if we want to. Um... So yeah, there's that. Uh, the rope den. Replacing the dope den. Because it's a joke. And I want to make it a running joke or something. I don't know, we'll see how it turns out. But anyways, the rope den is now in action and the dope den has gone away. Anyways, on to what we'll be doing this episode. We will be doing... We're not, I don't have much to show off, except that we got Shadow Greaves. Um... Why is that visible? I don't want that visible. Why are these visible? They should be invisible. I don't know. Anyways, I, I just have white boots apparently. Um, that I don't need to put on. So, we are going to... I'm going to wait until day or whatever. We need to expand our chest room soon. But, for right now, what we're going to do is we're going to explore to the edge of the world. Oh, I got these, uh, Kumpai from, uh, Mother Slimes, I think. I, I put on the armored compass, but I'll keep the fleeting compass as well. Actually, I won't. I'll sell it, because we have the, the, um, we already have shadow armor. We need to fight the Eye of Cthulhu. That's what we're going to do this episode. We're just gonna, real quick... Fight the Eye of Cthulhu. Oh, dang, I, I already bought a bunch of basketballs. I can... No, put, put it back. There, so... Okay, 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 anyways. That's what we'll do. We'll fight the Eye of Cthulhu. We'll just do that this episode. We've got full armor. We have plenty of potions. Let's see here. We need Night Owl potion. A Swiftness potion. And we have Lesser Healing potions. An Iron Skin potion. What else, what else, what else? And I think that should be good. And we have full ancient shadow armor, which is equivalent to the regular shadow armor. And, and, let me put this lead ore away. Right there. And these diamonds that I mined up. With all that. And, I'm just gonna put this rope away. Uh, what, what am I saying? Oh gosh. Uh, we have 200 health. I think we don't have an arena. 
That's the only thing, and we are on expert mode, but I think we we sh we can at least try it. I think we should try it. Where are my lenses? There's my lenses. Do I have a um, suspicious looking eye? This may be foolish. I understand that. But I think it's worth a shot. And so, let's go down real quick to the little um, demon altar we have in our basement down here. And let's craft ourselves up a suspicious looking eye. Yes. Right here. Right now. Let's do this. Just just do it. And that, that recipe is surprisingly still the same. I would have expected that one to change. Um but alas it has not. Anyways, carrying on, it is almost night time. And I think that do do we actually have platforms or anything? I don't I don't I I think we will actually be good. Let's go over here to our spawn, which is a large flat area. We'll light it up first, and then, yeah, come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up. Oh, I hear the night. We'll light it up first, so that we can run back and forth quickly, and be able to see where we're going. And then we will, after we do that, we'll start, we'll summon him, and use our mini shark to destroy him, hopefully. I don't know how this will turn out, but we can always just make another uh, suspicious looking eye. Man, I've been playing normal mode with my sisters a lot recently, and these zombies are take these zombies take a lot more time to kill. Anyways, let's buff up real quick. And okay, okay, okay. Before it gets too hairy with too many zombies, come on, guys! Seriously, stop spawning. I'll get with I'll get to you later. Die, die, come on, give me lens, give me lens, give me lens, there we go, okay. So we're buffed up, let's not waste our opportunity, and summon the Eye of Cthulhu, just, we're, this, if we can't do it, we'll try again some other time, but here we go, Mini Shark, I don't have an accessory to jump over, and that's the difference between my personal world and this one, get away you stupid zombie. Okay, this was probably a terrible, terrible mistake, but we're just going to own it, anyways, carrying on, he is big and scary, it, I have never fought him before in expert mode, but I know what his secondary attack is um, because I've watched videos and stuff. We need to get under him and jump over his minions. There we go. We need to uh, avoid his attacks at all costs. Um, oh man. Did I, did I say costs like Mike Tyson? Costs. Costs. I'm going to bite someone's ear off and buy a tiger with my winnings. Anyways, enough about Mike Tyson. Um, these little minion guys, little minion characters, they'll go away in the second stage, but for now, that is going to be a little- Oh, here it is, okay. Now I know that this is a big and scary- wait, he's just throwing out minions, he's not supposed to do that. Uh, that's different, that's a change. Be ready on the heal button, tricks. Okay, yep, 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 there it is, he's making the, uh, the Tim Allen grunt. As it- uh, as it appears to be. Um, so let's just outrun that jump over saw. Oh my gosh. That is terrifying. Ah! Stop, Tim out. Tim Allen grunting. Heal up. Oh wait, we've already did. Um, or already have. And quick reversal. Oh man. There's mana over there, but we have full mana because the recipe is dumb and easy. Come on. Oh gosh. I know that his attacks become more frequent as his health progresses down. Oh man, he is really getting close. This is really getting hairy. Oh man, just keep firing, keep firing into the crowd. Oh gosh, just go this way. When can I heal? When can I heal? When can I heal? Let me heal soon. Oh man. Oh man, 10 seconds, 9 seconds, 8 seconds, 7 seconds, 6 seconds, 8 seconds still. Okay, come on, Fallen Star. If you had fallen just a second earlier or later or something. Oh man, let me heal, let me heal, let me heal, let me heal. There we go, sweet, we healed up. Come on, get it, get it. And we've done it. Sorry if I blew out the audio. I'm looking at my second monitor and it's just full bar all the way up to the top. Hopefully it doesn't sound too bad. But guys, that's a major accomplishment. We just defeated the Eye of Cthulhu, Cthulhu in expert mode. Can't talk today. My original goal for this episode was to see if we could reach the end of the world, but then I realized that we have a mini shark, and you guys have been waiting this for a while. And so we did it, guys. We fought him. 
We fought the Eye of Cthulhu. We got the Eye of Cthulhu treasure bag when we get back to our spawn, or our house, as it's normally called in the civilized culture. We will check out what sort of loot is in this. Alright, let's just get up here. We really need a bigger storage room. But this house isn't going to be our primary home. This is just for now. But yeah, still, we'll get a storage room or something in the next episode. But anyways, quick stack to nearby chests. This, this, this potion of materials, put the lenses away. Let's see here. What have we got inside? Treasure bag. Right click to open. Ooh, it's rainbow. Alright, expert. We have 68 demon idol, bunch of gold and silver. Up seeds, unholy arrow, and a shield of Cthulhu, which does what is it? 30 melee damage for innovation. So it's an accessory that allows you to dash. Interesting. What have we got here? The compass. I don't think we're going to need to have this on all the time. Um so wait, did this give us Yeah, that gives us two defense, and that gives us three, so we'll lose one defense, but we get this. Oh, that's so cool. And it doesn't use mana or anything. That's awesome. Um, we'll just keep the compass in the social. And let me see here. We've got the radar. That's useful. Stand van, van of star power. That is useful, but I don't think it's useful for us right now. Because we don't have any weapons that will require a lot of mana. It might be useful later. Climbing claws are useful. And the plant fiber cordage is useful. But not at all times, so we're gonna keep that off, that off, where, where are my other accessories? Oh yeah, we have a musket. I think I want my cactus sword back. But, I'll see. Um, wild shackle or menacing shackle. Uh, there's the ice skates coming. Come on! Let me- There, it's hidden now. Why is it not- Can you not hide social accessories? Okay then. But anyways guys, major accomplishment for for the series. We beat the Eye of Cthulhu in expert mode, and we have a really freaking cool looking sword. Yes, I said freaking, not the other one. Um, but ah, let's die. Ooh, blue die. That's interesting. Where's my negative die? There it is. That's gonna look weird. Uh yeah, I like it. What other dies have we have? Um, don't know what that noise was, don't care. Let's see what else is there? Mana crystal stars. Let's put this away. Oh yes, of course. We have to make. We really have to get more chests or a bigger treasure room or something. Was, oh, we need to smell those down. But anyways, let's see here. What can we make with our demonite ore? Let's go through here. Oh, we can really make a light vein. Get a good sword. Twenty-two bars. That's quite a lot. We can make a malaise and a light vein. We can make both of those. Can't make a nightmare big ass, so we have to fight. Yeah, I'm gonna get the white spain. Cause that does some damage. Oh, but less speed. Okay. Um, and I think we should get the malaise. Just like that. Cause I had the malaise on my um personal server with my sisters. That I'm sorry guys, but you can't play with us on it because I don't know people in real life, really, so I don't really it's not an issue of trust, it's that I don't want people, my sisters or whatever, playing with the wrong type of people or whatever. Anyways, so yeah, sorry for people that have asked to join that. I'm afraid I can't let you. But anyways, guys, we just beat the Eye of Cthulhu, and we got a whole, lot, a whole lot more gold while we were at it. That was great, it was a risk, and we took it, and it paid off, and now... Um, I'm going to build an NPC house down here. Oh! Oh! Oh, I know what this means! I know what this means! It means! It means! It means! We get the dryad screw. We have enough time left in the episode for us to build a house for the dwarf. We're going to make it out of stone slabs because that seems appropriate. Where's my furniture? Uh, okay. What what are we going to do? I think the burial would would look good. Let's get a bunch of stone slabs from our advanced crafting table. Do we already have stone slabs? I don't want to waste materials. Um, no, we do not. Anyways, carrying on. Stone slabs. We'll get like a hundred or something. Ooh, what are some of those things? Those are interesting. 
This is going to be the um, explosives guy's house. It's a bathtub, a dresser. We're going to want the burial wood. How do I make it? Probably a crafting bench, Trex. Burial wood table. I don't want a burial wood door, first of all. The stone slabs, burial wood. What else are we going to want? We're going to want a furnace because he's a dwarf and he's going to be forging. So there's a door, there's a furnace, a chair. I'll see how much room we have. And a workbench because he's a dwarf. He's going to be working. So let's go build the um, demolitionist home real quick so that we can get the dryad to move in. Just realized that I was falling there. Nearly fell to my death. That would not have been good. Although we don't have any money on this, so it's... I fa I got this item on my per on my personal server with my sisters. Uh, three, four, five, six. Seven. That is called a money trough, and basically it's uh, it's like the coolest item in the game. One of them. It's it, it basically summons a. P it's like a castle crasher's pet. That might actually be what it's inspired. By. But it's basically like a castle crasher's pet. It. You, you summon it. It doesn't follow you around like a castle crasher's pet, but you summon it, and it's a flying piggy bank. Yeah, flying piggy bank. That's, and, and, and it's fully functional. It's so cool. We still have plenty of room in here. We can get like a real wood bed or something. Can we, can we replace the back wall? Dang it, dang it, dang it. Gosh, diddly darn it. Let's start hammering down the wall. From right here, we'll replace it with some wall in the future or something. But for now... Oh my gosh, we only have a tin hammer! Let's go upgrade all of our tools right now. Okay, this episode was going to be short. Nope, it's going to be a bit longer than I anticipated. We have a lead pickaxe, a lead axe, and a tin hammer. Here's our lead. Here's our silver. Here's our platinum. Let's see what we can make, shall we? We have wood, so that's good. Let's forge this at the forge. Oh my. It's quite a bit of stuff I can craft. Lead bars. Boom, 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 boom. Got 15 for a total of 50. Uh, don't need to make armor because we have ancient shadow armor. Yeah. So close to a lat uh, platinum pickaxe. If we just had one more ore. Silver. I'm gonna make a silver pickaxe. Silver pickaxes actually, actually aren't too shabby. I think I'll go with that. And that. And that. Can we still make a silver bow? Even better, we can make a platinum bow. Oh, we can. I don't know what to do. Oh, a minecart. We should do that. And equip that. And then make a platinum bow. Do we even have a bow? Where's our bow? I don't know. I'll just make it a Um, let's favorite those. Sweet. Favorite those. Unfavorite those. Favorite that. What else? Um, anyways. Carrying on, we now have better tools. That's another upgrade. I'm going to just throw everything back in here where it came from. Silver's right up your iron. Lead. Lead. Silver, platinum, there we go. Uh, we have our blocks, we still need those. Tools. Yeah, we really, we really need a bigger storage area. So I'll get to work on that, it'll probably be boring, because there was the storage room saga in 1.2, and I don't know if you guys would want to see that again. So, tell me if you want to see another storage room saga. Actually, it wouldn't be a saga, if you like one episode, but tell me if you guys want to see me build the storage room, or if you don't want to see me build a storage room, in the comments below, um, that'll, that'll be useful. Um, so yeah. Oh, can't you hold accessories in your inventory? You can! And you still get the effect! That's useful! Anyways, carrying on. I'll, I'll pretty this up later. Don't, don't you worry. But for now, we've got to build the home of our demolitions expert. Our very own Gimli, former the artist formerly known as Gimli. Um, let's just hammer out this area real quick. 
stay in one place, let the hammer do the job. It is a keen silver hammer. So that means it gets plus 2% critical strike chance. But anyways, so yeah, if you want to see me build the storage room on camera, tell me. Um, I'll, I'll lay out the foundation myself off camera, because it's going to be pretty boring. I'll probably end up doing it off camera, but yeah. Tell me if, if that'd be something you guys would be interested in. But we should be getting the dryad, if my calculations are correct. Let's put this stone wall down. Can we make some more? There it is. Okay, that should be enough. We can put it back into bricks later. Or we can keep it as wall well, because it looks pretty cool. Okay, what else can we make? Um, armor. Cool. Ooh, an armor statue. Cool. Yeah, there we go. That's our housing. Yep, missing a light source, as I thought. Do we have a chandelier that we can use? There's the dryad! There she is! Where is she living? She... She's living in my bedroom. I'm fine. Uh, <laughs> anyways, let's get a... Um, thingamabopper. Chandelier! Platinum chandelier. Good, we do have one. And let's put that in the demolitionist's room. They'll move the painter down and let the dryad have the big all open window. Boom. Hmm. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. This is perfect for the demolitionist. So let's move him down here in his dank little corner. This is only temporary. We'll have more houses throughout the series, but for these early episodes, this is what we have. Uh, we'll start the groundwork on something else, I guess, soon. She's sitting in my chair! Okay. So now we'll move the painter out of the big old... I think my demolitionist just fell to his death. And then the dryad goes there in the big nature room at the observatory. There we go! That is it, guys! That was quite a successful episode. We got the dryad, we got the shield of Cthulhu, we upgraded all of our tools, and, 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 we beat the one, the only, the eye of... Kachuchu, according to Zisto and Etho. But yeah, I, I call that a successful episode. Mini Shark, fantastic. I'm so glad that Strakov told me about that trick. And that we have a Mini Shark before we even defeated the Eye of Cthulhu. We used a Mini Shark to defeat him. That That's... I've never done that before. I've never had a Mini Shark before I've had a proper magic weapon. Or at least silver tools. So anyways, guys... That's it for this episode of Terraria 1.3 with TXW. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, then be sure to like the video. Tell me how the audio quality is in the comments below because I'm using Audacity. Uh, and I uh, tried to remove the fan noise. Tell me if that worked or if it didn't work. And if you want to see my mouse my mouse movements for the video, there's an Imgur link in the description below. As always, there will be a, a link to Terraria on Steam and the website in the description below. And if you like the video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. I'll see you all next time, and goodbye. We beat the Eye of Cthulhu!